and welcome to this new video in the series on Bluetooth Low Energy Technology. My name is Mohamed Afani, and in today's video, we'll take a look at what's new in the most recent release of the Bluetooth specification, version 5.1. Some of the topics we'll address in this video include an overview of Bluetooth 5.1, then we'll briefly go over each of the new features introduced in this version. This includes a direction finding feature, which utilizes angle of arrival and angle of departure information. In addition to that, we'll go over gap caching, changes to the use of the advertising channel indices, and the periodic advertising sync transfer feature. Now the main focus of Bluetooth version 5.1 is a feature called the direction finding feature. Direction finding includes the introduction of angle of arrival, and angle of departure calculations. Other new features include GAT caching enhancements and advertising enhancements, including advertising channel index randomization and periodic advertising sync transfer. Let's start by talking about the new direction finding feature. There are two main types of Bluetooth Low Energy applications that can utilize this new feature. First, proximity solutions. Proximity solutions leverage VLE to determine the proximity between two devices, how near they are to each other via RSSI readings. For example, tags attached to a fixed object to display relevant information to a user near that object, such as in retail marketing and museums. Second, we have positioning systems, such as real-time location services, or RTLS. Understanding where devices are located within a space, usually indoors. Examples include asset tracking, user tracking, and wayfinding solutions. Now, before version 5.1, the specification did not define a way to determine direction information. We also relied solely on RSSI or received signal strength information to determine proximity between BLE devices. The accuracy was also not so great and can only go down to the meter level. Now starting with version 5.1, an optional feature allowing the detection of signal direction was introduced. To achieve this, it utilizes one of two new methods, angle of arrival at the receiver and angle of departure at the transmitter. For positioning systems, this helps achieve centimeter level accuracy. In the case for proximity solutions, it enables the detection of the direction of the Bluetooth signal. In the case of angle of arrival, it is primarily useful for real-time location services and item finding. It requires an antenna array of two or more at the receiver end, and only a single antenna is required at the transmitter side. So for example, the transmitter in this case could be a tag that's attached to an object that's moving around, and the receiver is a stationary device that determines the angle of arrival of the signal from the tag and translates that to the direction of the transmitter. In the case of angle of departure, it is primarily useful for indoor positioning systems. It requires an antenna array of at least two antennas at the transmitter side and a single antenna at the receiver side. For example, in this case, a transmitter could be a fixed locator device that sends a signal to be received by a smartphone. The smartphone could tell the direction of the received signal from the angle of departure data and translate that to the location on a map displayed in that smartphone app. The other feature introduced in version 5.1 is the ability to store and cache the attribute table of a GAT server. This allows for lower power consumption since the radio is on for shorter periods of time and for faster connectivity as well. Now before 5.1, this was restricted to bonded devices, but now in 5.1 and later, it is allowed for unbonded devices as well. The third category of enhancements relates to Bluetooth advertisements. This includes two new features. First, the order of advertising channel indices used to send advertising packets on. As we know, primary advertising packets are sent on channels 37, 38, and 39, or a subset of these channels. Now, before versions, version 5.1, we were required to utilize these channels in that specific order. Starting with 5.1, however, we can now use these channels in any order that we want. This helps primarily for large-scale Bluetooth mesh deployments since devices in such a network utilize the advertising packets for communication. For example, 
Randomizing the order of channels used could reduce the advertising packet collisions. The last feature we want to talk about, which is also related to advertising, is the periodic advertising sync transfer feature. We talked about the periodic advertising feature in previous videos. Now this is a mode that utilizes extended advertisements to allow a device to sync, so to speak, to another continuously advertising device and receive this data as it changes without having to establish a connection. In the first stage of this mode, the listening device needs to acquire the sync information to be able to follow the advertising packets continuously. Now in version 5.1, a new feature allows a device that previously synced to an advertising device to transfer the sync information to a third device that wants to sync to the advertising device as well. This feature is targeted primarily at the future audio over LE standard for devices such as hearing aids. To learn more about Elasis, provider of the world's most advanced Bluetooth analyzers, visit elasis.com. Have a need for training or design services? Then contact our training partner, Novelbits, at novelbits.io. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learned a little bit more about BLE. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.